Hello, I will be demonstrating the software called WinPs. It stands for Windows uh, Privilege Escalation Awesome Script. It's a program that you can run to try and find any potential vulnerabilities in the system. Now, for this uh, demonstration, you're going to be needing, at the very least, some sort of Windows machine. Now, I also have uh, I also have a Kelly Linux uh, machine running Havoc uh, with a connection already established to my Windows machine uh, that I will use later. But first, you're going to need your Windows machine. Now, in order to start, you're going to need to download WinPs. Get it onto this machine however you want. You can use Apache web server, you can use Python, or if your machine is connected to the internet and you have access to that machine, you can just download it straight from the internet. Uh, I will. It is just uh, on GitHub, you can just download it figure out whichever one you need. They also have Linux, uh, a distribution for Linux enumeration as well, but for this purposes I'm just using WinPs, uh, I'm using WinPs x64.exe. There's also obfuscated ones uh, in case you are trying to get around antivirus, but that is not a concern for this demonstration. Now, you can you can just run it as in by going to the command prompt and uh, and just typing in dot slash when when t's x64 and I'll run it, but it will run it without colors. So in order to run it with colors, you're going to need to run the following command that you can see right here. It is red, red, add HKU, HKCU console slash V virtual terminal level slash T red B word slash D one. And of course, since I've already ran that, it has already been uh, added. I'm just going to overwrite it real quick and then it'll actually show with colors. Now you're going to have to keep this command prompt open in order for it to stay having colors but you can just open up a second command prompt, navigate to your downloads, and then run when is from there. Now, just running it like that runs all of the different scripts except for I think like one or two that are particularly slow. Now, it's going to run for a while, but some key things you'll notice is that whenever there's a green text right there, that means it's good from a defender's point of view. Whenever there's red text, that means it's good from a attacker's point of view. There's potentially something you can exploit there. If we go back to this page and go to right here, It just tells you what all the different uh, colors mean. So red means that something might be misconfigured or there's a special privilege. Green means that protection is enabled or is well configured. Cyan mean, uh, indicates an active user. Blue, disabled users. And light yellow indicates links. Now, while that's running, and it will take a while, 
I can also show you that you can try and run it from Havoc. In order to do this, all you have to do is use the upload command and type the path to where your where your download is. And it'll upload it to the other computer. And of course, since it already exists, it failed. But if it didn't, if that computer didn't have it already there, then it would upload it. It'd be in the download folder. And from there, all you need to do is use a shell command and execute WinPs. From there. Now, the issue with running from Havoc is, of course, there is a couple second uh, delay in the callbacks. Additionally, you might see some uh, some characters that cannot be. Uh, cannot be displayed correctly. And the third issue there is that it also doesn't uh, display the colors. So if you have to run it from Havoc, then you can. It's not as good. And I would highly recommend using the dash L, uh, using the dash L flag in order to have an output. Uh, have an output file. So you can use dash L or use uh, WinPs, exe, log, and it'll give you an output file, which you then can use a command such as at in order to display it. So if we go back to here, we're going to see it's going to take a while. Unfortunately, I will not uh, be able to display everything that, that it says because, one, there's a lot of different scans, and two, it's going to take probably around 20 to 25 minutes to scan everything. But if we just look at what we got here, we can see that there could be uh, some sort of misconfiguration with this or just some sort of thing of interest. Apparently some uh, secure shell agent files. Uh, we found a keyring fire file as well. Some history files that we may want to take a look at. Uh, we found this uh, wsl.exe file that we might want to take a look at. But generally, uh, this is very good for you to run uh, on just your own Windows machine or some sort of Windows machine if you are trying to find any vulnerabilities or when you try and exploit uh, some other system. Because if you know the same security patch that they're on, you can get a Windows machine that's on that security patch and see if there's any general insecurities. Of course, you won't find everything as if you ran it on the system itself, but you could find a couple things that you might want to try. All right, so that is WinPs, and it could be used to find all sorts of vulnerabilities, uh, specifically around uh, privilege escalation.